ethical and cultural challenges that North American students are going to run into start with uh, what we North Americans are all uptight about, privacy. And they walk into my consultation room and there's five, six members of the family present with the patient. That privacy is an unknown uh, word, uh, uh, certainly not the way we see it here in North America, where family is so much more important. Africa, family trumps everything. Uh, your oldest living member of your mother's relative is the person who calls the shots. Because the family's not only the decision maker, they're the insurance company, they're the, they're the people who have to decide uh, the impact of the bill is going to be spread over how many of us. And all of those hard questions. Sometimes I get sent um, questions from the WHO checklist. Have you got consent from your patient? And I sort of said, Lord have mercy. Do these people understand what it's like to work in a country where half your country still doesn't know how to read and write? So if I hand them a document written and then I ask them to put an X or a whatever sign or a thumbprint on the piece of paper, and I have my best interpreter come and try to unpack what's written on all this piece of paper, what got said <laughs> or what got understood and trying to help your North American understand that the simplistic notion consent means you climbed on the operating table. I didn't force him to go to the operating room. He had to walk down a long hall and he had to turn right and he had to get on the table. He had to take his pants down and he had to take his shirt off. He had to do all those things to get even, a, even started. Patients that run away from the operating room, won't go into the operating room. They're the ones who say, no way, Charlie Brown. So that, sim that notion, that simplistic perhaps notion, some North Americans are scared stiff and don't come our way because of it. And then when I tell them, they're sure it would be a help if they learned some Portuguese. And just, that just reinforces the notion of strangeness. And um, consequently, not all the students who contact me do come. I'm amazed sometimes how many persist. 